leaders on Tuesday converge on the nation's capital, Abuja, to deliberate on the way out of the multitude of challenges confronting the region, lamenting that the North is now facing a stential threat. Some of the key leaders from the region who met at the International Conference Center, ICC in Abuja, where the 1993 presidential candidate of National Republic Convention, NRC, Basha Ibrahim Tafur, the former Federal Capital Territory, FCT Minister, Dr. Ali Modubo, Omar, the former Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Yah, Yale Hamed, the former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Aturu Ujega, the former governor of Kaduna State, Ahmed Makafi, the former minister of defense and one-time national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Alahaji Haliru Bello, the former House Speaker, Omar Gali. Nabana, Nababa, the Senator Adu Nigi, and the former Minister of Interior and ex Chief of Army Staff General Adu Rayman Dam Bazuru. Others were a former ministers under President Gulog Jonathan and others. Addressing newsmen after the meeting, Tofa announced the formation of a new group named Abuja Roundtable. He said it is an independent, non-partisan and non-governmental organization funded by eminent sons and daughters of Northern Region to address the ever-involving challenges facing the region. Speaking on behalf of the group, Tofa said, These challenges are many and they cut across the region. These have manifested in the collapse of institutions and services, widespread poverty, and in inequality, mature suspension of economic insecurity, disunity, despair, and a vet of hope across the region. Every community has challenges, but to overcome challenges, there is need to admit their existence. He said, all is not well with the North and urge leaders to take responsibility and provide solutions. We have no difficulty admitting all is not well with Northern Nigeria and taking primary of the courier's responsibilities for the current state of affairs. We must all leaders Followers and passive onlookers accept our share of responsibility, but beyond that, we must collectively resolve to take action and remedy what went wrong going forward. We own this to ourselves and to succeeding generations who would bear the consequences of our actions and inactions even though they bear no responsibility for how we got here, no parent would wish to bequeath a precarious future to his child, and no price is too high to pay to secure the future of succeeding generations of Northerners. We are fully aware attaining those objectives will not be easy, as the conditions and the forces of division have taken root and have been left to foster unchecked over a long period, but the adjourning of a thousand miles, they say, begins with a single step. We are also hopeful that, as collective victims, we have paid the price of division. Our people have arrived at the resolution that unity is required to resolve other challenges affecting the region. Recent consultations with eminent political, traditional, and religious leaders across the North are encouraging. They review a strong desire to remove all obstacles to Northern unity and a commitment to overcome its challenges. 
we will widen and deepen those consultations in the coming weeks, months, and if necessary, years, in order to attain our objectives. On the way forward, Tofa said, the most urgent task, therefore, facing the peoples of the northern Nigeria is to overcome fear and overcome fear and jetson on healthy division and create consciousness around common goals and aspirations, those are necessary for creating the enabling environment to address our most stubborn challenges such as insecurity, widespread poverty, collapse of institutions and services, etc., so that other peace and prosperity may once again return to our region. We are the ones who occupy this region. We are the ones who suffer the consequences of its, of its disunity, and we are the ones who must remedy the situation. It is in our common and enlightened interest to do so. We would be like to seize this opportunity to call on all stakeholders, particularly our political businessmen, traditional, religious, community, and youth leaders to support this initiative to recreate the entire northern landscape and make it conducive to a future world of succeeding generations regardless of ethnic and sessional considerations. He said, hmm. All right, someone said, this is just the beginning. So, Coolest elements from the north have been condemning the Taliban's sources in pursuing out of existing government of Afghan. What happened in Afghan is exactly the master plan of Boko Haram. Any elements, be it the people in government or institutions, romancing with the terrorists in the name of pardon or rehabilitating. Do so as his own risk. If you welcome terrorism, the mayhem will be felt in your domain. So guys, I'm going to drop it here. That is a reaction from a Nigeria. What's your view on this? Kindly drop it below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.